someone in the rush hour can count. This is Dell's big set of six. Yeah, an opportunity to ask Dell all the big questions around the game of rugby league. Jude, tackle one. Yeah, Dell, the Cronulla Sharks have brought in a host of big names, talent, big name talent, including Nico Hines, Dale Finucane, Cam McInnes, along with the new coach in Craig Fitzgibbon. What are your expectations for them this season? Yeah, look, I think um, with those players, you want that experience, but also good club men. Um, that's what they need there at Cronulla at the moment. Um, and also with Craig Fitzgibbon there, I expect them to be in and around the top eight. Like, I think they've made, they're very, obviously, um, they've got a good squad. Toby Rudolph, I think, will go have a good year. William Kennedy, I think, has been the fine the last couple of years. Obviously, Mulatalo. But with these senior players, that certainly can help because they're winners. Will they make the top eight? I think they will, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, tackle two. Kalen Pogger looks set to be announced as a Knights co-captain. Is this the last-ditch effort by the Knights to get him to stay? A uh, really good move. I think it's the right move. I think Kalen Ponga, I think he needs um, that captaincy beside his name because I think it's time for him now to be consistent and be the man. Um, look, I think Kalen, um, he'll do a good job there, but he's got to have the players around him. It can't be just throw it to Kalen and let him do his magic. They've got to be as a play as a team, and I think Andrew Johns is going to be good for him too. What do you think, uh, on, on the back of that, what, what do you think is the best move for Kalen at this point of his career? He's got to make his mind up. He just can't keep moving clubs. I know he can do that. I know he can probably go to the Dolphins. They'll offer him, they'll offer him the world. But I just, I'd like to see Kalen stay at Newcastle Knights. Um, and I just think this year it's going to be pivotal for him. All right, tackle three. Peter Volandis was on Triple M Breakfast this morning today. He had this to say on forward pass technology. What we're trialling at the moment is a chip in a ball to, to show that if, if the ball comes up forward from, the, from your hands, you know, it's only being trialled at the moment. And hopefully, if it succeeds, we'll introduce it. So, you know, that's one yes. of the real bugbears of fans is, you know, when there's a blatant forward pass, uh, we, we want fans to walk away that they've had every opportunity for their team to win. And, and this is just another innovation. Would this be a good addition to the, to the game, Del? Mate, anything that can improve our game, 100%. I mean, we have to move with the times. I think I've seen too many teams and too many games being decided by forward passes. So if this little chip and obviously technology can help our game, um, you know, we got paying fans. We all love it, the game. If we can get it right more times than not, let's do it. Yeah, getting it right's the key. Because yeah. there's plenty of people walking by. What about that? Yeah, ten yeah, that's rubbish. But we had Matt Chetchen on the other day. And it was like, it, it, we, we argue too much almost about getting it right always. It's yes. sometimes, you don't want to lose the theatre. Yeah, no, that's true. Tackle number four, Vlandis also said this in regards to the restrictions placed on the players. We're allowing them to, you know, to live no a normal life. But when they go to areas that, you know, that are got high density crowds and, and they are a possibly a risk that they can only go with three of their teammates. So that way there's not a mass infection of a team. So we want to have the least disruption, but at the same time, give the players some normality. That's got to be a good result. Oh, I think it's a win for uh, for the players and and also for their headspace too. Because I mean, and even with their families, for the last two years, we've ex I know people are going to say, oh mate, you know, they get paid great money and that's, yeah, okay, that's fine. But still comes, you know, their mental health and their headspace and stuff. And also, you've got to live too, you know. Definitely. I know they're entertainers in our game, but um, well done to the NRL. They'll be better entertainers if they can live a normal life. That's for sure. Yeah. Tackle number five, Wendell, who is the wonder kid that we should look out for this season? Yeah, not because, not you know, I've been involved in Dragons over the years, but this kid, Tyrell Sloan, I coached him when he was nine. A mate of mine, Brad Young, said, come down. We've got a couple of good young kids. We come down. And this young kid, Tyrell Sloan, and I saw him and he was just beating everyone. You know when you see that kid when <laughs> they're eight or nine and – I sort of spoke to Brad, and, and, and then over the years I was watching, I was watching him come through um, the Steelers system and the Dragon system now, and he's just obviously re-signed. I think he's just been calling the All-Stars. Mm, Young Sloan, once again, he's going to be his own player. The Dragons gave him, assigned him to a, a full contract now. Um, th the kid's got the world at his feet, always making the rep teams, real humble. I, I will give the Dragons this tip. Don't get this wrong. This kid can play. I'm not putting any pressure on the kid. He's such a humble kid, um, very family orientated, loves his mates, and he's, he's a local boy. So, young Sloan, watch him in the All Stars. I think he scored six tries from seven games last year. Can defend, very skillful. Um, he is, he's a magic kid. Beautiful. Tackle number six, Latrell Mitchell has been banned from playing in the All Stars game, but it doesn't count towards his suspension. Is this a blunder by the NRL, Dell? Yeah, look, I can understand. Um, Look, Latrell's done so much and does do so much for the Indigenous culture and stuff, but I think a suspension is a suspension. So mm. I know it doesn't count, and people say, oh, he should be allowed to play, because I think he can play in the charity shield. Yeah. So he's going to play. That's what I'm saying. So That's a bit weird. Oh, I know. I, mate, I wish Latrell could have played in this game. His brother's playing, um, but unfortunately uh, he'll be sitting out this 